Okay, you're here to learn about adding alt text in Gutenberg. So the first step is, oh, you don't know what Gutenberg is? That's okay, we can talk about that. Uh, and you don't know what alt text is either? Okay, we have a lot of catching up to do. Gutenberg is the latest WordPress editor, and it drastically changes how front-end developers manage their website's content. Now, before you think, oh great, I have to learn WordPress all over again, Gutenberg is actually incredibly intuitive with a fresh and sleek new design. Hats off to the UI designers, and a moment of silence for the classic WordPress editor. No, I'm just kidding. You can still use the classic WordPress editor. But why would you? All the cool kids are using Gutenberg, and you'll be able to pick up on many of the changes if you use the classic WordPress editor. But adding alt text is slightly different, and it comes with an added SEO benefit. Now, if you don't know what alt text is, or you need a little refresher, alt text is the written copy that you add to an image on your site to describe the purpose of the image. Now, something that's a little ridiculous since images speak for themselves, but have you considered what would happen if an image fails to load on your site? It could happen. Also, you'll be really helping visually impaired users on your site who use a screen reading tool to describe pictures. Alt text also helps search engines crawl and rank your site just a bit better. You can do this by optimizing your image alt text with the keywords that you want to rank for. So increasing your SEO score and providing a better user experience for the visitors on your site makes alt text pretty neat. Now let's get to the real reason why you're here, adding alt text to Gutenberg, which is kind of similar, starting with adding images to your website. You want to log into your WordPress site's admin dashboard. After you log in, you want to navigate to the left side of your screen under media, hover over it until you see library and click on library. Then you want to navigate to the top of your page and click Add New. From there, you can upload images from your computer by dragging and dropping them or clicking Select Files. Now that you have images in your media library, you can start adding alt text. Click on the image of your choice, then select the alternative text field and fill it out. After writing alt text, you can insert an image to a page or post by grabbing that image from your library and your alt text will appear on the right side of the page editor under Image Settings. This all seems familiar, right? Well, that's good. But with Gutenberg, there's another way to add alt text. Let me show you. Gutenberg allows users to add images from their computer directly onto a page or post without going through the media library. And you can do this with an image block. Add a new image block and then select Upload to upload an image on your site. Since you did not add alt text in the media library, the alt text field will be blank. Fill the alt text area on the right side of the page editor under image settings. Uploading an image this way will automatically upload it to your media library. If you click that image in your media library, there will be no alt text. But you can add fallback alt text to ensure that alt text will be there every time you add it to a page or post. Now Caesar, you said that there is an added SEO benefit to this. How? This just seems like an oversight from the Gutenberg developers. Yeah, I thought so too. But let's think about this for a second. You can now add multiple alt text to the same image on different pages. Ultimately, this is gonna give you the power of optimization as you can use different targeted keywords to boost your SEO game. Don't forget to add fallback alt text in the media library. I cannot stress this enough. When you add alt text to an image that's been directly uploaded using an image block, that alt text will not be saved if you decide to remove that image from that page. Also, changing alt text in the media library after that image has been placed on a post will not change that image's alt text. So media library alt text should just be used as a backup. Thanks to this new feature, SEO experts are no longer tied down to using one keyword per image. Now SEO experts can start ruling Google and then the world. Or, you know, we can just settle with getting to the top of Google. That's fine, that's fine. Hey, thanks for sticking around for this long, but before you go, if you need an SEO strategy, that'll put you on the first page of Google, contact Catapult Creative Media. I'm not kidding when I say that we leave no stone unturned when it comes to optimizing your site, and that includes adding alt text to your images. So let's set up a free consultation to talk about an SEO strategy that gets the results that you want.
Thanks for watching and good luck with your SEO strategy.